Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm going to be running through, by, by uh, sort of popular request, how to set up automated messages on Facebook using your phone. Now, I have got another video showing you how to do this on desktop. If you're looking for that, I will pop a link in the description below. It also shows you where to find this if you, uh, yeah, if you already watched that video. But basically, this is how to find it on your phone and set it up. So. Basically, the way it works is you want to make sure you have the Pages Manager installed. So the Pages app from Facebook installed, which is uh, just here on my screen. When you click on that, it's going to take you to your page. Now, this is just a little test page I've put together. I've got a whole bunch of pages here. You can switch between pages by going up to the top left where your uh, little icon is there, pressing that, and you can go between any of the pages you have there. I've got some of these bled out because some of them do belong to customers of mine. And um, basically, once you're here, you simply click out. Um, yeah, it's a simple case of going into your settings, and it's all pretty much the same as the desktop. But um, so the way it works, we're going to go to the bottom right hand corner to the little suitcase symbol, and we're going to press that. And then we're going to go to settings. And you'll see there automated responses. So press that. And you see we have all of our responses here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, most of these are pretty straightforward, but uh, we'll just quickly touch on a few of them and um, go through some of the more complicated ones. So if you were looking to set up an away message, it's pretty handy. So I'm going to click on away message. And you'll see uh, that we have the option to turn it on. So that way that uh, if anyone messages us while we're away, uh, or our status is set to away, we'll, they'll automatically get a message uh, back. So the idea is I'm going to turn this on by pressing the little slider there next to Messenger. I'm going to edit my message. So I'm just going to say here, I'm going to press a little, uh, so what I've done there, sorry, I'll backtrack. I've pressed the little pencil symbol here to edit this message. I'm going to delete the whole thing. And I'm going to start typing. I'll say, hi there. We are currently away. I'm not going to be too too prop, too exacting with this because obviously it's just a demonstration. Please contact us from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. A E S T time. And then we can add a personalization if we want to. So instead of saying hi there, I can actually get rid of this here. Type in hi. And where it says add personalization, I'm going to press that. First name of recipient. Add. As you can see, there's other options there. So that way they actually see their own name. Hi there. See so if your name's Billy. Hi there, Billy. We are currently away. Please do contact us, oh, please contact us. Typing on a phone is not my forte. Or maybe, uh, maybe not necessarily please contact us, but maybe a, def a better message, something along the lines of, we're currently away and as soon as we read your message, we will respond uh, during these hours. So something like that, something that says, hey, look, we've received your message, we'll get back to you. These are the hours you operate, so expect a message during this time. So you can put something like that in there and that way people uh, if they're messaging you while you're away, they're not going to sit there. They don't have to sit there and wait for you to get back to them. It's a simple case of here's when we got, we'll, we uh, return messages to get from there. So I'm going to save that. And you'll see. So what we need to do now is actually set a schedule. So I've got my time zone there. You can see at the bottom. I'm going to click Add to Schedule at the bottom. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually just show you how to do this. So I'm going to go from, I'm going to choose by pressing the days here. I'm going to press Sunday and Saturday. And I'm going to click on start time. Choose a time, so 12 a.m. That's the start time. And the end time is going to be go 11. And then we're going to go 59 p.m. So what this does, it means from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. So the whole day, Saturday and Sunday, outside of business hours, we're going to click Save. If you go down our schedule, you'll see there, Sunday and Saturday are set up and we're closed from that time. So now I'm going to add to the schedule again. This time I'm going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Start time will be 12 a.m. End time. So let's say you open at 9. We're going to go to, we can just shortcut this and go to 9 a.m. Okay. And save that. 
So you can see here, we're now closed Sunday and Saturday and every morning until 9 a.m. So if you want to mix it up a little bit, what we can do also this time is add another one. This time we're going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And let's say we uh, finish up at 5 p.m. And we go 11. And this will automatically change over into the minutes 11.59. So we shut at 5 p.m. So I'm not responding to messages then. So now we have this Monday to Thursday. But for whatever reason, let's say you finish early on a Friday. So we go in there, go to Friday. Start time, once again, we'll go five, and you press the PM specifically, hit okay. Ah, oh, wait, go back, I made a mistake, that's all right. We'll go to 11, 59, 58, 11, 59 PM. So what we're gonna do, go back in here and change this to 3 PM. So 3 PM to 11, 59 PM. Save that, click save at the top. So you see in our schedule here, we're closed Saturday and Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're closed until 9 a.m. Monday to Thursday, we close from 5 p.m. until midnight. And then on Friday, we close from 3 p.m. until midnight. So those are the hours we're actually away and closed. So when I'm happy with that, I simply hit save at the top right-hand corner. And now my away message is on. So if anyone contacts me during that time, it's going to be it's going to basically uh, send that message now i have heard of people setting this and having it not work unfortunately if you do get that issue i think it may be an issue with the app or facebook uh it's not i don't really know why it does that um i personally have never had any issues with it i've only heard of it secondhand i haven't been able to actually replicate the error and try and solve it but that's just something if you do get that issue um i'm not sure exactly what to do about that but instant reply is a good one because what happens is if someone sends a message we can turn that on. And regardless of when they send that message, we can go press the little, so what we turn it on a messenger, we press our pencil symbol and we can edit our message there. So we will contact you soon or something like that. You get the idea. Once you're done, you can save that, add your personalization, same as before with customizing the message. But with the timing, if we press timing down the bottom here, it says sent instantly, so we can't actually change that. I thought we might have been able to change that just by its presence there, but that's another good one. So now I've actually used this example before in my last video. I have had a customer who has a Facebook page. Uh, a lot of people do message them. However, they run on an appointment basis and simply can't sit and chat on Facebook. So what they've done is they've said, uh, you know, please, thank you for your message. We are currently not actually able to respond to people on Facebook due to the nature of our business. So please, if, it, if you want to get a hold of us, please call this number or email this email address. Um, something to that effect. Uh, basically trying to redirect them to the channel they want. Because it's just another way of making sure you're not leaving people in the dark. You don't want to discover a message three weeks later and think, oh, I missed out on some business there because of it. So this is great for that if you don't use Messenger at all. So you can turn that on, save it by going to the top right and uh, going from there. So I'm just gonna leave that one for now. Discard. Uh, questions for potential customers. So if you click on this here, what you can do, we've got that turned on. Hello, thank for your interest. A question prompt, and what we can do is actually set up some questions. So if I go add a question here, you can say something like, how much does a website cost? I'm a web designer, so that's the first thing that pops into my head. Hi guys, at the time I recorded this video, I actually misunderstood what this section was about. And uh, what it is is actually you asking questions to the customer and uh, that way you're actually getting information back from them in the form of a short answer or multiple choice. So I just thought I'd mention that uh, before we go ahead. So um, yeah, thanks for understanding. I've actually, I've actually watched that up a little bit anyway. How much does a website cost then we can have it starts from yeah you can say 1500 for a basic site or you can say you know e-commerce starts from 3500 or something like that so you got if you've got a few different answers you can pop those in there save that 
So we've got their options and uh, yeah, so how much does the website cost, one or the other. This one here, short answer. I'm not exactly sure what the, what the idea is there. I can't actually, I don't seem to be able to type anything in there. It's a little bit funny. I'm actually gonna delete this question. That's, so that's a good way, so when someone goes to your page, uh, they hit chat, or if they're on desktop, the chat will pop up and show these questions and they can choose the answers. So those three are sort of, I think, some of the main ones people are looking for. Now, contact info about your page. You can go in here and add a few other bits and pieces. You can add attachments and buttons. So you can actually add a button with a link. So you can go add, choose the button label, like visit our blog, or if we're talking about contact, op contact options, you can say, see our contact details or something like that and then you can add in the url in there so just be like a contact page on your website something like that just discard that you can also add the message in there as before so typing in the message like to contact us see which option suits you i'm horrible at talking on a phone at uh, typing on a phone to contact us See which option suits you. Save that. Like I said, if you have an attachment, like if you run a restaurant or something, it can be good to pop a menu on there as well. So you can also say, while you're at it, check out our menus to so that way people don't ask so many questions on the phone. You can save yourself a little bit of time. Um, then you can add your button in there with your contact info. So that's a way of actually just setting up. Uh, so if someone asks for contact information, they get that reply. And a lot of it's pretty similar. So location, someone asking about where we, where you're located. Same deal as before, a message, you can add an attachment in there and a button. So maybe you link off to a map or something like that, or even just some directions. Maybe you've got a few locations, so you wanna send them to a locations page on your website. Frequently asked questions. This is similar, I think, to before, where you can add a question. So, you know, Maybe something like, uh, when do you open? Automated response, you can say 9 a.m. Monday to Friday or whatever option you wanna put there. You can save that, add another question. Maybe something along the lines of, uh, do you fix broken down? Once again, as a website designer, I always think about websites. And the automated response can be no <laughs> or yes. Please contact us on etc. for details. So yeah, add a bit more in there. But you sort of get the idea, like um, there's a few typos there, but you sort of get the idea there. So you can add in questions uh, similar to before. So when when do you open? Do you fix broken down websites? Like you can add in questions and answers for people. So that way, if you're getting asked the same question a lot of the time, beating people to the chase and going, here's the answer is handy. And you can also put this on Messenger. Save that and it's good to go. Now, this is a test page. So these <laughs> horribly written questions and answers aren't gonna show up anywhere. Same again with the hours. So adding in, you've got your hours there for the schedule, but you can type that in uh, yourself. So I've actually typed that in. So if anyone actually asks, and of course, if you have a by appointment option on there, that could be a good way of saying, uh, you know, attachment of about could be a PDF with available appointment times, or you can pop that in the message itself. And the button could be somewhere they can go to a website or something to book that appointment. So you can even book on Facebook too, if you have the link for that. So that's another uh, pretty handy option. So respond to feedback. So if someone recommends your page, you can actually respond to that with a comment. So thank you for recommending. So you can click the pencil icon, edit that. You can even do the same as before by adding a button and an attachment. And if they don't recommend your page, what you can do is you can even say, I'm sorry about that and offer them something in return. Or you can even just, uh, you know, start an argument. It's up to you. <laughs> Probably don't start an argument, but uh, you know, you have that option. T technically you have that option if you want to. So communicating about appointments. So if someone actually sets an appointment on Facebook, um, which is something you can do, I haven't actually done it myself, um, you can set up on reminders. So that way, if you go in here to appointment reminders, they can get an automatic uh, reminder via Messenger. So that's pretty cool. And then of course, follow up messages. 
So after the appointment, if you say, look, we check in with you in a week's time, if there's any issues, you can actually automate that to send two weeks after the last appointment. You can actually change that time frame, hours, days, weeks, months, that sort of thing. So you can actually automate your follow-ups. And even if you want to say, hey, do um, you want to set another appointment in a month's time? It's like you can follow up with them a week later, two weeks later, or three weeks later to say, hey, would you like to make another appointment? Was your last one successful? And then that way you get like this automatic follow-up system going with your page. Once again, if you set up job applications, you can go in here and it's much the same again. So maybe you've got some things you want them to read before they, uh, after they apply. So you can actually edit put your message in there, add your personalization as before, add a button to send off to a website. Maybe they want to upload some files. Maybe you set up like a, a Dropbox um, portal where people upload files and you can get them to upload their CV or something like that, I'm not too sure. But yeah, those are basically the options. Now, depending on your page, sometimes you will get different options depending on your page. So what you see here on my screen might not be exactly what you get. There might be less or more. I don't know exactly why that is, but uh, it is a, a situation I've run into and I'm not 100% sure why that happens. But generally speaking, the bulk of it is the same. So um, yeah, once you've had a look at one or two options, a lot of them are very, rep rep uh, a lot of them are very repetitive. <laughs> so um, you get the idea, it is pretty standard to use. So I hope that video was useful to you. Um, like I said, if you're on desktop, I have another video for that. Um, but just had a few people requesting this one, so I thought I'd make it, pop it up there for you so you can basically use it. So yeah, I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And of course, if you want more like this, please subscribe, like the video. Uh, yeah, I'll try and help as much as I can and keep an eye out for future videos if you want more on Facebook uh, or basically any type of content creation and social media. And uh, yeah, I'd love to talk to you soon and have a great day. Thanks for watching.